But I want us to introduce and meet our pastor for the day. His name is Reverend Elio Cheng. He's a deputy uh, senior pastor at Setam Buruburu. Karibu sana to Thank the you. show. Thank you, this guy is to be my youth pastor. Can you imagine? Maze, even me, I'm proud of you. <laughs> we've come from far oh yeah we have, we have. we've come from very far yeah. great to have you here excited to just hear you break down the word as you always do for us um about esau and just kind of learning from the strengths of his life the weaknesses of his life and uh -huh. how we can apply those today yeah but but it's good to look at the background first sure B before we we get into some of his strengths and weaknesses mm. well, of course we know who who, who their parents are. Mm -hmm. Isaac married Rebecca when he was uh, when he was forty years old. Yeah. So I mean it's actually, it's actually indicated there. Yeah. So Rebecca uh, could not have kids. I I don't know why in the Bible these stories of people who couldn't have kids yeah. appear so much. Yeah. Maybe it's just God trying to show something. Yeah. So. And then they always give birth to great people. Exactly. So Isaac went and interceded and actually cried out to God and asked God, Lord, please remember me. Right. So God intervened and Rebecca got pregnant. Mm -hmm. So when Rebecca got pregnant, she, uh, uh, she, when she conceived, there were two kids in her womb. Mm -hmm. Of course, she, I, I think she had a difficult pregnancy. <laughs> so, Sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> so she went to inquire of the Lord and ask, uh, and ask God, I mean, Lord, what is, what is all this? And then God says, two nations are in your womb. And two peoples from within you will be separated. Mm. One people will be stronger than the other, and the older will serve the younger. It's mm. like uh, Jacob has had already been predetermined mm. that he will take the blessing. Mm. So, one interesting fact that I see with with with, with Rebecca before we get into Esau or Esau, depending mm -hmm. on on your English teacher, <laughs> Rebecca got the twins after waiting for twenty years. That's right. I, yeah. I noticed that as I read it. Already, Jacob was 40 when yes. they got married. When they got married. And then the kids only came when they were, he was 60. So that's 20 years. Yes. Yeah. 20 years. Okay, we don't know the age of, we are not really told the age of Rebecca. Right. But if you if, if you go back to start and, and, and read the history, uh, you it, 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 it is confusing. Because mm -hmm. some people say she was 14, some people say she was 3 years old. Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. But that doesn't. But that's a story yeah. for another day. So they they got kids after twenty years. Uh, that's very interesting. It's an interesting fact. Okay. Because you know people have waited on God for for a long time yeah. for for, for a, a very specific thing, right. and they think God would come come through. Yeah. Let me encourage someone and Amen. tell them today that God is able to come through, even yeah. after that it has taken a long time. Yeah. Some people have waited two months and they've already given up. Yeah. These guys waited for 20 years to get kids. Wow. Don't and when they come, yet. it'll be, when God gives that blessing, oh, or when yeah. he releases that blessing, it's always on time. It will nullify always the wait. Oh, exactly. Yeah, that's very encouraging. Yeah. And I, I think this will actually be a good point for us to take a break. Yeah. And then when we come back, we're going to be diving into Esau and or Esau's character. Nini mtaniambia vile unasemanga? Iso, Esau. Oh, unasema nini? Mi, Iso. Okay. But when you speak Swahili, you say it. Unajua Esau? Esau ni Swahili. Ay, Esau. We'll be back after the break, guys. Double two triple nine is the SMS line. Remember, you can also reach me on social media at Switch TV Kenya. You can comment there on Facebook. We'll be back after this. All right, guys, we're back here on Full Circle with Joyce with Reverend Elio Cheng, and we're talking about Esau today, uh, just kind of understanding his character and what we can learn from him today. So let's jump straight back into it. Um, uh, thank you for, again, sharing that encouragement with those who are watching uh, that, indeed, sometimes it will take a while for a promise to be delivered, mm -hmm. uh, at least a while according to our time. Yeah. But in God's time, it is the right time. The right time. And yeah, and his blessings always maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Yeah. So uh, be encouraged with that, guys. For whatever it is you're waiting for, uh, God will come through. Mm -hmm. um, so as we look at uh, Esau then, what are some of the things that really stand out to you about him? Of course, Esau um, was a twin brother to to Jacob, mm -hmm. and 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 we uh, w w many people are very familiar with the story of, of of Esau and Jacob. He's actually also called Edom. 
he, mm -hmm. he's actually the father of the Edomites. Mm -hmm. Because uh, he, he was called Edom. Actually, Esau means hairy. He was, he was born hairy, mm -hmm. red and hairy. Mm -hmm. But Edom means um, because of the soup. You remember the soup that he, he sold his birthright for? Yeah. Because it, it was also a red portage soup. Mm -hmm. so, he was, he, so, so he was called Edom. So right. he's, he, he, he's the father of the Edomites. So literally two nations in the womb, as God had told Rebecca. Exactly. Yeah. Jacob, one side. Esau, one side. So yeah. Esau, was a, the Bible says he was a skilled hunter. Mm -hmm. So, and Isaac loved game meat. So Isaac loved Esau. Mm. But Jacob... Um, Jacob loved to be by the mom's side. He was a mama's boy. He was a mama's boy. <laughs> so, um, Rebecca, <coughs> excuse me, Rebecca loved Jacob. Yeah. So, that there was a problem in, in by itself, but mm -hmm. but that's a story for another day. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> let, let's get back to Esau. So, <laughs> Esau one time comes from 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 hunting and he comes home famished, as the Bible as the Bible says, and and this guy is, is he, in his mind he he thinks he's going to die. I mean, he's dying. He has, he has never been so hungry in his <laughs> life. He's going to die. Yeah. So he says, please give me something. He tells Jacob, please give me something. And Jacob tells him, pass tell me your birthright. And, and, he's, and he says, well, what, what is my what is a birthright? Right. I mean, give me food. I, I'm dying here, man. Yeah. So Jacob I tried to swear by an oath. You know, those guys, they, 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 their oaths were, were, were serious. It mm -hmm. was serious business. It's yeah. like, like these days people give, give yeah. oaths and they, of course they don't. So, Jacob uh, receives um, Esau's blessings. Now, Isaac was going to die if, 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 if you read the, I mean, the next chapters. So, Isaac is going to die here. So, the mom and Jacob, they connive to take away Esau's blessing. Mm. And, and they do so. And Esau gets mad. And he says, I'm going to kill this guy. Mm. This thing, I'm going to kill this, this mm. guy. I'm going to do away with him. So if you look at Esau, now Esau the person. Yeah. Esau actually had some strengths. Yeah. The first thing that I see about Esau, that Esau was actually a skilled hunter. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible, is, 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 I, I, I like the way the Bible describes uh, certain individuals. You know, the Bible could have easily said he was an I mean, he was just a hunter. Mm. But it says he was a skilled hunter. Mm. What does that mean? It means that he, he did his, his stuff very well. And mm. he made his meat very well. Mm. There's a very important lesson to learn from this. I mean, from there. Mm -hmm. We need to be people of excellence. Right. Excellence honors God. Yeah. Mediocrity dishonors God. That's right. And people are very quick to settle for less. Come on. I mean, you just do things haphazardly mm. and uh, as long as it's done. Bare minimum. Bare minimum. Mm. And, 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 and the sad thing is that us believers, we've been accused of being very mediocre. We are very notorious. Yeah. Sadly so. Yeah, if you give someone a contract, they will not fulfill their part of the bargain mm. or they will do it shoddily. Which is very sad. We yeah. need to redeem ourselves. Right. Because excellence honors God. Mm -hmm. And we need to be people of excellence. We mm. need to rise up from, from mediocrity. Mm. I mean, that is not something that, we sh that should be our tag as believers. Mm -hmm. We should, if our God is an excellent God, right. he created the world so excellent, did everything so excellently. Why mm. can't we be excellent? Right. Because we have the spirit of God in us. Mm -hmm. So we need to be excellent. Mm -hmm. The second strength I see that Esau had, he had a forgiving heart. That one is a, is a great strength. <laughs> you know what Jacob did to him? Actually deserved death. Mm. Because, I mean, how can you just con me out of my blessing like that? And maybe we need to explain the significance of that birthright as well. What did that mean? To, be, to give away your birthright? Or, or why did Jacob want that so badly? You see, that birthright... Is is, is 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 a blessing that has been pronounced by the dad to the first, usually to the first child, mm. because Esau was the first born, as, right. as it were. There are twins, but he came out first. Yeah. So, if 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 Isaac speaks that blessing to 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 Esau, it will have, it, it it will indeed come to pass because mm. I mean this is a I mean it comes from Abraham actually. It's it's, it's an Abrahamic blessing. Mm. So. This is, is something very significant, something very, very, deal. very important. It's a very big deal. Yeah. So if someone cons you out of that, 
Yeah. I mean, it's like they've conned you out of, in, out of inheritance. And your destiny, right. Exactly. So for him to forgive, that's massive. Uh, but it, it took 20 years. <laughs> yeah. They did not meet for 20 years. Mm. But when they met, if you read the account in the scriptures, I mean, Esau ran to Jacob and actually embraced him. Jacob w was trembling. Mm. He was shaking in his boots there, mm -hmm. wondering what Esau was going to do to him. Mm. He, in fact, he left his family behind because he knew this guy, he might finish me mm. on sight. Yeah. So, but he had a big heart. After all that Jacob had done to him, he actually forgave him. Mm. And you know what? The people who hurt you the most or who wound you the most are the people closest to you. That's right. Where? But you can actually find it in your heart to forgive. Because wounded people wound, wound others. other people. So if you're wounded, you can master strength and ask God to help you. Because forgiveness, Joyce, is not easy. Mm -hmm. if, some, if someone so close to you has, has done something that is so uh, hurtful, something that is very difficult to forgive, I mean, coming to a place where you just tell them that I forgive you mm. is very, very difficult. Mm. You know, it is easier said than done. You know, sometimes we can sit yeah. here and tell people, you know, forgive. you need to forgive, you need to forgive. <laughs> but we might not understand the gravity of, 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 of a particular matter yeah. until it happens to you. Mm. And then you realize eh, forgiveness is not as easy as I thought it was. That's right. But this is a great strength that is so hard. He right. had a forgiving heart. Wow. And I want to encourage someone out there mm. who, f who is feeling like it is very difficult to forgive. I know it is difficult, mm -hmm. but trust God and ask him to help you to mm. be able to forgive. Wow. Because I'm telling you, it will remove a burden, out, it will lift a burden out of your shoulders. Yeah. yeah. And thank you for sharing that because I think so many times we look at Esau's story and we just remember the part of him selling his birthright. Exactly. Um, but the truth is, so many of us can actually find ourselves doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And maybe we've done it on several occasions. Oh, yeah. Because if we're looking at Esau as a man of excellence, how many times do we, in the areas where we really thrive, that we are excellent in, have actually sold a portion of our birthright in chasing a bigger contract, chasing a bigger deal, <laughs> you know, chasing a, a, a better opportunity. Yeah. There's, there's compromises that we too have made. And so hopefully I'm, I, 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 I'm hoping that we are also seeing portions of ourselves in Esau. Because exactly. it's very easy for us to look at him and say, how can you, do, how can you give away your birthright for soup? Mm -hmm. Yet, mm -hmm. maybe your bowl of soup is something else. Very true. Yeah. Now, we are, now you have actually even preempted where, where we are going. Because okay. we are going to his weaknesses. Yes. <laughs> now, one of his weaknesses was lack of vision. Ah. Because he despised his birthright. Actually, the Bible says he despised it. Yes, I don't understand that. He dis he, I mean, he did not take it seriously. Mm. He, 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 he did not have a, a vision of, of the future. Mm. Actually, he sold his birthright for a bowl of soup. That's, that, that says a lot about him. Mm. People who have no vision, are like that. Mm. They would rather enjoy the temporary fleeting desires of their flesh. Wow. Huh? And wait it out for Than wait it out for the future. That is what they do. You'd rather people who are visionless, people who don't have a vision, they will sell their birthright for a temporary desire. Yeah. Something that is very fleeting. Something that is here and now. You know you're not looking towards the future. Yeah. And maybe and you're right, if he had that vision even that hunger that he felt like he was dying, the vision would actually tell him, no, it's not even worth it. You're not you dying. You would have died. Yeah. I mean, he, he had not just eaten, the, he's not that he had not even, pray, he was praying and fasting for, for, for 40 days. It was just a day. He yeah. wouldn't have died. He just thought in his mind that I, I'm going to die. So he despised that birthright. Wow. If you don't have a vision in life, mm. I am telling you, you are going to, keep doing these temporary fleeting things that will fulfill the desire of the flesh. Mm. Yet God has so much in store for you for the future. Yeah. And this applies to everybody. This everybody. is not about being a CEO or what. This one applies to everyone mm. across. It doesn't matter who you are. Mm. We need to have a vision for life. What has God prepared for us in the future? Mm. Not e this one, by the way, is not even for, 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 for the saved only. It is for the answer. It right. is for all people. Right, we right. need to have a vision. Mm. The second weakness that I see 
that uh, Esau had, he did not follow advice. Mm -hmm. Now Esau, if you read uh, the previous chapter, mm. Esau took wives. <laughs> he married two wives. Mm -hmm. No, uh, and the Bible says that Esau's wives, um, he actually married two wives. Uh, uh, I think at the same at the same time. And those two wives were even not people who he was supposed to marry, mm. because uh, at that point he married. Uh, Canaanite, uh, two Canaanite women. Mm. And you know, God had really told them that don't mingle with the Canaanite mm. women. The Canaanite mm. women. I don't, I, I, I don't know what, what, what was. <laughs> I, I don't know what was up with those Canaanite women, <laughs> but they would turn their hearts away from God to because this, the Canaanite people did not have a religion. Yeah. Then they worshipped idols and worshipped other gods. Mm. So he did not follow ad advice. And the Bible says mm. that Esau's wives they brought sorrow. To Isaac and Rebecca. That mm -hmm. is what the Bible says. They actually brought sorrow to, to, uh, to, to, his, to their in-laws. To their in-laws. I think they used to live in uh, in, uh, in those communal in, 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 in community. Yeah. So now, maybe they used to quarrel. <laughs> there is someone shouting from one tent to another. Where are you? You know those <laughs> kinds of things. Yeah. And maybe they disrespected. Uh, Esau's parents, I mean, it was just, I mean, they brought a, a lot of sorrow mm. to Isaac and Rebecca. And let me tell you, Joyce, it is important to listen to advice. Mm -hmm. There are people who think they are self made, mm. they believe they can do it by themselves. I got this. Mm. That I got this mentality is a very bad mentality mm. because we need to hear from other people. You yeah. need people in your life who can actually call you out and tell you, you're going wrong. What you're doing is not right. Mm. You're going off course. You need to come back on track. Especially when you're a person of excellence. Yeah. That pride is so easy to creep in <laughs> that you just feel like, but I'm the one who, who knows, you know? Um, it's so easy for pride to creep in when, when you're good at something. And you just completely fail to listen to everybody else because you feel like you have all the answers. The interesting thing, Joyce, is the people who are mediocre are the ones who are most proud. Wow. Because they don't receive, won't receive, receive advice from anyone. Mm. Because they think they know it all. Mm, mm. And it's very sad. And you find that people who don't receive advice from anyone, actually, their path to destruction is almost sure. Mm. Because we need people in our lives who we, we can be accountable to, people right. who can mentor us in the proper path. Mm. And I want to tell you, I want to tell people out there: don't be impulsive, because that is one of the challenges that that uh, that Esau had. He was yeah. very impulsive. That is how he he he, he, he married these wives, right? Yeah. <laughs> Without even thinking. <laughs> It is important to listen to advice. Mm. But one thing I can tell people, a person says, there's a person who once said, a smart man learns from his, his mistakes. Mm -hmm. A wise man learns from the mistakes of others. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely right. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing this with us uh, today, Reverend Ellie. And I want to um, touch on some SMSs. Someone here says, good morning, Joy. Say hi to my pastor. That's Sheila watching from Embakasi, learning more about us. Uh, Esau. Um, good morning, tuned in, and I'm just really expecting to listen on the expose of uh, Esau's character. English, we say, no, okay, how do I read this? English, we say Esau, Esau, we say, in Swahili, we say Esau. Uh, that's teacher Festo from Kibra, Asante Sana. Um, someone here says, my spirit is always lifted up every morning through the show. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Thank you. That's Anne Wandere from Likuyani. I also have Val tuning in from Kisumu. Uh, you are definitely looking to find inspiration. It's been hard on you. And uh, the show is more of a therapy session uh, for you, Asante Sana. Uh, someone, uh, Flora from Togoto says, hey, Pasi, the word is inspiring. Asante Sana for that. And um, I also have Lady Rose Wanjiku from Embakasi East watching the show as well. You said you were ready and uh, keen to learn more about uh, Esau. 
and you've certainly been inspired by the show. Thank you so much to all of you guys for your feedback and comments. You can keep them coming in to double two triple nine and also comment on Facebook at Switch TV Kenya. And um, as we go on break now, uh, Rev, I want to ask you to just pray for us um, that I think many of us are at that point where Corona in many ways has been our hunger. You know, it's been the the njatunayo njatunaskia, uh, maybe from lost opportunities and whatnot. Um, pray for us that really, even in this season, we would not lose our birthright. We would not just kind of be impulsive, you know. Mm-hmm. And of course, we're all looking for opportunities. We're all looking for ways to better our lives and bless our loved ones and whatnot. But to also be careful of how we do it, to seek mm-hmm. the right counsel um, and to to really have God at the center of those decisions and not to lose the bigger picture mm-hmm. out of it all. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for such an opportunity that you give to us to be able to delve into your word and to just glean from the scriptures Mm. and from the lives of other people. Father, I want to pray that indeed you're going to help us. Lord, we trust you and we look to you. Even in this season, we know that there are many people looking for for different opportunities, Mm. uh, for work, for business, for jobs. We are praying that, Lord, you're going to help us. Mm not to be like Esau in in a way. Help us not to sell our birthright for a a bowl of soup. Help us not to compromise our faith just to get a deal. Mm -hmm. Help us to be people who are stayed upon you, who trust you through and through, that Lord, you're going to come through, even though it takes time and it takes a while, Mm -hmm. we know that Father, you are able and you're going to come through. Help us to seek wise counsel from people who have gone before us and ahead of us. I pray that, Father, we will not be impulsive in our decision making. Lord, we will not be proud Mm -hmm. thinking that we are self-made. I pray that you're going to help us to to get counsel from from wise people who have gone ahead of us. I want to also pray that, Lord, you're going to help us to be people who are excellent in the things that we do. Mm -hmm. That, Lord, even in our work, in, in, in the work of our hands, in our trade, that, Father, we are going to be excellent in the mm-hmm. things that we do. Mm-hmm. And above all, also help us to have a forgiving heart. The Lord, those m- people who have hurt us, help us to let it go. Help us to just embrace them. It is difficult, but, Father, we know that you are able to help us to, to forgive and to let it go. Mm-hmm. So we want to thank you for this opportunity and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Rev, Thank you. Uh, for coming through to the show. Always a pleasure to have you here. For sure. Sana. And um, uh, he is a uh, pastor over at Sitam Embakasi. Buruburu. Buru, buru, sorry, Sitam Buruburu. Uh, and uh, churches zina funguli watena. Eh, on Sunday duko. On Sunday duko. What wa wapate wapi? Eh... But, but you but you need to yeah you kind of need to sign up sorry <laughs> yeah. there's yeah. limits to churches obviously how many people yeah so you yeah. need to register with churches but nonetheless uh do you remember your social media handles this time <laughs> imagine like uh, <laughs> Eli Doto Cheng for Instagram. Okay. Yeah. They can follow you there. Yeah, and, and uh, Elio Cheng uh, at Elio Cheng one on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> Ellie does a Cheng on Instagram. Ellie a Cheng one on yeah. Twitter. Um, hey, at least Leo me <laughs> <laughs> I And on Facebook, it's, it's Ellie Cheng. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to the show. As Thank always, you. really Thank do you. appreciate you. Yeah. With that said, guys, we're going to take a break now as we get ready for our next segment. Like I mentioned, uh, we want to meet... Um, uh, talk about really drug recovery, actually. Uh, and that's coming up. Addiction, recovery, and love. Stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce. <laughs>